Everton come back down Southampton and gets Benitez off to winning start. There was a hug on the final whistle for Duncan Ferguson, a wave to all four sides of an appreciative Goodison Park, and an embrace for every player who eventually got his Everton career off to an ideal start. For Rafael Benitez, the first day in a potentially troublesome office unfolded perfectly as spirit, quality and tactical acumen combined to produce a stirring comeback against Southampton. Benitez's victory salute was reciprocated by a long-awaited full house of Evertonians enthused, not only by second-half goals from Richarlison, the outstanding Abdoulaye Dauker and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. The character shown to recover from the costly mistake that enabled Adam Armstrong to open the scoring, plus the changes that delivered a vastly improved second-half display, with Benitez switching the positions of Richarlison, Demarai Gray and both central defenders, gave Everton something to build on beyond the opening day. Ralph Hasenhutl's side impressed in spells, and their manager considered the margin of defeat unfortunate, but his team lacked the incisive touch to turn tidy approach play and well-organized pressing into a tangible reward. The new Everton manager received an excellent ovation when introduced to the home fans before kick-off. So much for hostility towards the former Liverpool manager. The guttural roar that also greeted the opening bars of Z-Cars captured perfectly the emotion of their return en masse after 17 months away. But groans followed, and Everton's first half performance prompted them. A careless display from the central defensive pairing of Michael Keane and Mason Holgate in particular. Everton, with five senior players isolating due to coronavirus issues, started brightly with new signing Gray to the fore. Southampton were solid and absorbed the early pressure well, but had created little when a dreadful mistake by Keane gifted them the lead. The Everton defender dithered too long in possession midway inside his own half. Chi Adams dispossessed Keane and released Armstrong in the process. The £15 million signing from Blackburn, a replacement for Danny Ings in style and stature, advanced on Jordan Pickford's goal and bent a stylish finish into the top corner. Confidence evaporated in the home ranks and rose in the visitors. Armstrong tested Pickford from a tight angle after Adams beat Holgate in the air yet again. Keane almost averted Adams' attempted through ball past his own goalkeeper after his defensive partner had squandered possession carelessly. Richarlison was booked for a dive Tom Daly would have been proud of. Adam Armstrong opened his Southampton account in confidence style with an excellent finish on his Premier League debut. The £15 million signing from Blackburn also impressed with his movement and work rate before fading in the second half. At £5 million, Tino Livramento looked an astute piece of business from Chelsea. The right back kept Richarlison quiet in the first half, prompting the Brazilians' shift to the centre in the second. His fellow full-back Romain Perro linked well with Musa Gineppo. For Everton, Demarai Gray stood out with his pace and energy, while Andros Townsend's industry was well received by the home crowd. Andy Hunter it was an ominous opening to Benitez's Everton career, but he oversaw a vast improvement for the second half, and his more aggressive positive team were quickly level. Southampton cleared Lucas Dean's near post corner, but only as far as Andros Townsend on the edge of their penalty area. The debutant sent a looping header back into the box where the unmarked Richarlison, played onside by Mohamed Salisu, volleyed into the roof of Alex McCarthy's net from close range. Benitez switched Richarlison inside with Gray moving to the left to good effect. Southampton for it back, with James Ward-Prowse delivering a series of dangerous corners and Romain Perro combining well with Musa Gineppo down the left. But it was Everton who finished in the ascendancy and secured victory with two fine team goals. The much maligned Alex Awobi was involved in both. After Dowker had rolled a quick free kick out to Seamus Coleman, making his 300th Premier League appearance for Everton, substitute Awobi headed the captain's neat chip back into the path of the midfield.